morning kids, this is again teacher Abby and this day we are going to learn new topic in our mathematics. This morning, you are going to learn about the word problem involving conversion of time measure. Prepare yourself, compose yourself, and prepare your notebook for we are now going to start our lesson. The end of this module, you are expected to first analyze word problems that involve time measure, second to convert and solve word problems and situations about time measure, and the last one is to give importance in solving word problems that involve time measure. Are you now ready? Okay, if you're ready, let's begin the lesson. Before we dig deeper to our new lesson, let us try to answer first the Try this. Read and understand the questions and then write your answers in your notebook. These questions are just to check if you have remembered something from our previous lesson. First, how many days in two years that are not like years? A. 364 B. 365 C. 730 or D. 734 Second question, John plays basketball in 120 minutes. How many hours did he consume in playing basketball? A. 1 hour B. 2 hours C. 3 hours or D. 4 hours The answer for number 1 is letter C. And the answer for number 2 is letter B. Very good kids! You still remember our previous lesson. Time measure is one of the important lessons that we need to learn. With this lesson, we can measure how short or long the action or work we have done or still going to do. This lesson will also teach us to give importance of the time and how to use it productively. Hmm, I have here a table. We need to study this conversion table for us to be informed and be aware of the time that we are spending. One minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. 60 minutes is equivalent to 1 hour. 24 hours is equivalent to 1 day. 7 days is equivalent to 1 week. 4 weeks is equivalent to 1 month. And our 12 months is equivalent to 1 year. Remember this conversion table. I have here one example word problem that involves time measure. Gina works 5 days in a week. How many days Gina goes to work in one month? Here are the procedures or the steps how we're going to solve this given problem. First, you need to know what is asked in the situation. Second, what are the given numbers? Third, what is the operation to be used? And the fourth one is, what is the number sentence of the problem? With same problem, let's have the first procedure or step. What is asked in the situation? The answer is, how many days Gina goes to work? So we are finding the days. Second, what is the given number? Five days is the given number in the problem. With same problem, Let's have the third procedure, or the third step. What operation to be used? Since we're going to find the days in a month, 
we need to multiply and use multiplication. The fourth one is write the number sentence. The number sentence is 5 times 4. 5 refers to the number of days Gina works in a week. And 4 refers to the number of weeks in a month. So 5 times 4 equals 20. So Gina works 20 days in one month. That's the procedures how we going to solve a word problem that involves time measure. How about the second problem? Malu makes a cake in just 30 minutes, while Lena makes a cake in 40 minutes. How many minutes longer Lena makes a cake than Malu? How many seconds? First procedure, what is asked in the situation? How many minutes longer Lena makes cake than Malu? And the second that is being asked is how many seconds longer? Second procedure, what are the given numbers? The given numbers are 30 minutes for Malu and 40 minutes represents the time Lena bakes a cake. How about the third step? What operation to be used? The operation that we need to use is the subtraction because we are getting the difference of time. And also, we have multiplication. The fourth step is the number sentence. What is the number sentence of the given problem? The first one is the number sentence of how many minutes. So to find the minutes, 40 minutes minus 30 minutes equals 10 minutes. 40 minutes represents the time of Lena and 30 minutes represents the time of Malu. Therefore, 10 minutes is the time longer that Lena makes a cake than Malu. How about the seconds? 10 is the minutes, 60 is the number of seconds, and to solve minutes to seconds, we need to multiply the number of minutes to 60. Therefore, 10 times 60 equals 600 seconds. So there are 600 seconds longer. Lena makes cake than Malu. We got it, kids! Let's learn more! Try to read and solve the following problems. Write it in your notebook. First question. Marion is riding a bus and going to her work in an hour. How many minutes Marion consumes in riding a bus? I know kids, you can answer this. Question number two. Mario has, Mario has two months vacation in the house of his grandparent. How many weeks Mario stayed on the province? Try to solve the second problem. The third one is, Nathan runs 10 kilometers in one hour. How many minutes Nathan can run in one hour? Do not forget the conversion table. Jonathan worked in a company for a year, or for one year. How many weeks he had worked in the company? And the fifth question. Joanne studied her module from 7.45 in the evening until 8.45 in the evening. How many hours Joanne spent in studying her lessons? How many minutes? Good luck and have fun, kids! Why we need to learn the conversion of time from different units? 
and what are the procedures or steps that we need to follow in solving word problems that involves time measure? The answers are, we need to learn the conversion of time so that we can measure and organize the work or actions to be done in a certain time. And the steps that we need to use in solving word problems The procedures or steps that we need to follow in solving word problems are as follows. First, need to know. First, you need to know what is asked in the problem or situation. Second, what are the given numbers? Third, what are the operations to be used? And fourth, what is the number sentence of the problem? Those are very important to know. So let's have our evaluation. Read and solve the following problems and choose the correct answer. Write it in your notebook. You can choose your answers inside the green box. Enjoy and have fun kids! Before we finally end this session kids, let's have first. Let's do this. Try to solve the given problem step by step. Write it in your notebook. Let us read the problem. Robert spends four hours every day in helping her mother in the store. How many hours Robert spends within two weeks? Just find and answer these four procedures that we have discussed earlier. And that's the end of our session for today. I hope you have learned something for this day and kids, happy learning! If you are just new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified every time I'm going to upload new videos. Thank you and goodbye!